everybody. Uh, this hopefully is the Antex 690 SD. It's the digital version of the 660, uh, and it also goes up to a higher, a higher temperature of uh, 450 degrees. Just going to do a really quick um, uh, unboxing video. I'm also hoping that in here will be some extra bits for the 660 and the 690. Yep, there we go. Again, I've got to say a big thank you to John Tomkins at uh, Antex for sending these for review. It's quite awkward to get in the camera frame when you're looking at the screen. Anyway, so let's have a look. We've got some spare tips now because the uh, 660 only came with the one tip which wasn't entirely suitable for some of the bigger jobs I had to use it on last week which was mainly the uh, replacing the tuner in, in one of the sets I had. Uh, so we have uh, an 1103, an 1109, 1101, 1102 and 1106. The 1106 is just a very very small, I think probably uh, one mil or half a mil size. I wanted that just for reflowing some quad flat packs just to try it on uh, on that type of chip. We've got some larger chisel point tips which would probably be much better for the um, for removing tuners and things like that. So that's great we'll give those a go. Now this is a 690 SD with uh, digital readout uh, programmable. So 30 volts, 55 watts and with the SD50 iron and the ST6 stand, which I think is probably the same as the, the stand on the 660 that we had a look at uh, a week or two ago. about the desoldering bits for the surface mount devices that you can buy. I did have the set of those back in the day when I bought one of these from SCME or CME, however you prefer to call them. And I had it for many years and only sold that station a year or two ago, I think possibly to somebody on the forum actually, uh, when I got hold of a, uh, an Ursa Icon uh, system. Uh, system short instructions on the, the 690, on assembling the base, uh, operating the station, changing the bits. There's various functions on this. Uh, you can set the temperature, you can lock the temperature. There's also, uh, I think, a couple of memory settings. So you can, uh, I think, it, well, I used to have one of these. I would set it for my usual day-to-day -day temperature of 350. And then for some of the tougher jobs, uh, one of the memories was set on 450. Uh, I found that absolutely fine. You can lock this with a pin number. Uh, you also can select centigrade or Fahrenheit. It's different languages. Uh, diagnostics should a fault occur when the, when the station will display error 1 or error 2. Uh, basically, if a, heat, a heating element has failed is error 1 and the iron's not connected or the sensor is open circuit is error 2. Uh, you can actually recover your lost pin number if you've locked it and then forgotten what it is. Uh, so, yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, this brings back pleasant memories from when I had one of these before. Dust 
on the LCD panel. There we go. So you've got F function and then up and down to uh, change the temperature. Standard five pin DIN socket there. On the back you've got the same on off switch. I have to say I do prefer the colour of this unit. I'm, I'm, I don't, prefer, I don't like the yellow ones quite as much as uh, as this. Bottom there, yeah, made in England by Antex. And we've got the model number, also the part number, and the uh, and the serial number. Four rubber feet as on the other one. In fact, I suspect it's probably exactly the same case, just a different colour. And just the usual warnings on the, the mains lead. So that's all very nice. And the, this on-off switch is in a great place. I, th I think I said this on the last video. When you want to turn it on or off, you just reach over it and you're kind of almost holding it when you do that and you can just click it on and off. There's no buttons to press on the front where you know, you're moving the iron around as you push it. It's, it's fairly heavy and the feet are good and you can just you could just operate the switch but it's quite comforting to hold it and turn the switch on and off it and it doesn't move around. So the iron is an SD fifty Hopefully you can read that on there. That is fitted with the same tip, I think, as the uh, the six uh, six sixty station. Again, we've got a silicon lead. I think the same length as the six sixty. same stand. Yeah, I think it is. Again, as before, this has a weight in the in the base, and this just slides in place like that. Just clicks in place, and that's it. This pin this time is actually in place. It had obviously just fallen out of the uh, the holder in the last review, and that just allows you to adjust how the iron is held in place. You can move that up and down. In fact, I probably you know, would take that out, push that down a fraction, and uh, see if we can use that lower lower position yeah that's a much better fit in there now so they obviously make different irons with different size ends here and you can just fine-tune that to click in there so it doesn't wobble around too much which is nice it's a nice touch This time I've set all this up near one of the main sockets, so I'm just going to plug this in and uh, we'll just get some solder to uh, just tin this tip with. Got a little bit of carbon stuck on there, there we go, that's it. Right, so we'll turn it on. see it's heating from there and uh, you can see how quickly that's heating up. As I recall this is pretty quick to uh, to heat up. No issues with that. Just going to try and tin the tip with the other, my other hand. smoke coming off of there. That's it, that's the tip tin, so I'm happy with that. I can just pop that back in the holder. And 
but uh, This has been set to, but we'll just bring it down to 350. And it's just going to come down now in temperature. It's just gone a bit higher than that. I don't know what it was set to originally, but if you want to adjust the temperature, and I hope you can see that display. I'm, I haven't used the lights in the workshop today. I'm just using the sunlight coming through the windows, so we've got a bit of reflection, perhaps, on this LED display but I think you can see that that's on 350 if you want to adjust the temperature you will just hit that or hold it let's go to 400 and that will stay on that for a second or two and then change to the actual set temperature and if you want to go back down to 350 you can just do that now I can't remember for sure how that's memory one, but I don't know how you... Oh, okay. It's got an M at the end, so I think we can just go down to 350. And then memory two will go to 450. Again, I hope you can see this, guys. And press function. Uh, I think I can't remember, it's been a few years, I'm going to have to uh, have a quick look at the manual on how to set the memories. But you get the idea, it's really simple to use and uh, it's pretty quick to react. The bits setting is uh, the surface mount leaflet that I showed a minute ago. There's different bits, they all have different codes and you can actually set which bit you're using here and that will deal with the temperature for you. Um, so yeah, it's pretty clever. Let's just get up. See, so, yeah, as I selected those different bits, it adjusted the temperature. Now we're back to normal mode. It's gone back to the my uh, memory one setting. Uh, I wish I could remember how we uh, how we s selected that. I will have to have a look at the um, the instructions. And, uh, and let you know. But that's it, it's just the first impressions. Again, made in the UK, you're going to pay a bit more for that, but uh, it'd be really nice if we can support a UK based company. All of the parts for this are made in the UK, except for the tips. Uh, I don't know why that is, but uh, you know, for whatever reason, that's, uh, that's the case. The tips are pretty long lasting uh, for me when I had one of these before. Uh, I don't suppose that's uh, any different now. So that's a quick unboxing of the Antec 16690SD. We'll have a full review uh, video and uh, PDF on the forum and obviously on YouTube like this video is uh, in the next few weeks after we've uh, put these two stations through their paces. Again, many thanks to John at Antex for supplying me with the uh, two bits of equipment and the tips for review. I'm really grateful. Hopefully we can get a deal for the members on the forum. And uh, yeah, I'll get these tested over the next few weeks, get some reviews printed up and filmed, and uh, we'll let you know. But uh, I know this one is from old is, is great. I had mine for many years. Uh, it's a really, really nice piece of equipment. So, uh, ah, then now... Dave on the forum uh, asked about solder weld tips. Now currently Antex don't produce a solder weld tip. Um, I've spoken to John about that via email and uh, I don't know whether they'll be able to uh, add a solder weld tip to the range or, or a few of them but I think it would probably help them uh, because that's a more professional end uh, tip and uh, I know a lot of the guys use them solder weld tips aren't the easiest thing to use but if you can get the knack right it's an awful good way of reflowing quad flat packs and things like that so you know maybe Antex can respond to that and, uh, and actually supply some solder weld tips 
uh, or any other tips that members feel are, are necessary. So uh, let me know on the forum if uh, if you do use solder well tips and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. But I certainly think it would help sell these stations to the more professional market. Um, anyway, quick unboxing video, Antec 690 SD. Thanks a lot. Bye.